Welcome to Gumri. Oh my god, it's literally falling apart. The second largest city in Armenia. Oops, on the seat. Going down a dark alleyway. How do you cut it? Oh! That's literally a whole head. Shadow <laughs> 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 We're outside Yerevan train station and today we're going to take the train, look at this amazing building, to Gumri, the second city of Armenia. Oh, look at this. Man, this is pretty cool. Better than a lot of stations in Britain. This is, this is nice. It's a small train. Oh my God, this is it. Two carriages. So let's check out first impressions of the Armenian train. Oh, it's nice. Big step. It's fairly uh, spacious. Look, it, it's good quality. It says no seeds, no putting your feet off. They've been quick to lay out the laws. We arrived in Gumri. Look at this station. Oh, wow. This is even better than Yerevan station. <laughs> When I announced on my Instagram that I'd be traveling to Gumri, a guy by the name of Varam messaged me and said, it would be my honor to host you at my guest house right in the center of Gumri. We're nearly there. Very famous guest house in Gumri with the red door. Oh, there we have it. Was someone opening? Varam says, Luca. Karen. Karen. The place is called Tune 55. It's got amazing reviews on Booking.com. You can see why. I'm going to show you my room. And here is my beautiful room. Check it out. Big bed, spacious sofa, table. Very nice little uh, bathroom. It's not actually a little bathroom. It's actually quite a big bathroom. We also have a very nice balcony. So let's open it now. It's quite hard to open. Ah, there we have it. And another red door. Check out the beautiful view from up here. Perfect. In the center of Gumri. Amazing. Let's leave our amazing little guest house and let's go and explore Gumri. The first thing you notice is so much more quiet, peaceful, sleepy compared to, say, Yerevan. When I say sleepy, particularly sleepy old dogs. The dogs are very sleepy. Very cute, but very sleepy. The main shopping street. And look at these buildings as well. Look at these old buildings. Even the windows are the same. Vera, the main photographer on this trip now, <laughs> is finding it very interesting. Another sleepy dog. Oh, look at this street. This street's cool. Look at this building. I mean, look, at the, look at the stones on this building. Very nice. No idea where we go. We're going down a dark alleyway. <laughs> Oh, oh check it out. Amazing. Amazing. See you later. Bye. So now, with great excitement, we're going to go to taste the delicacy dessert of Gimri. You know what it's called? No. It's called Ponchik. And Ponchik is like the Armenian donut. And they have a certain type in Yerevan, but the one in Gimri is very famous. Nice place, right? Ponchik. Monchik. Donut with vanilla. Donut with Nutella. Donut with strawberry. Oh wow. They're huge. It's like a big bubble. It's like hollow inside. Armenian coffee. Thank you. It's time to taste the ponchik. So I'm gonna start with the one I wanted, which is the strawberry. How do you cut it? How do I cut it? Like this? You eat with your hands, you don't cut it. Why did they give me a knife and fork then? Okay, let's. Yeah. Okay, it's kind of interesting because all the jam has gone to one side. You just need to squeeze it. Squeeze it? Yeah. Well, like this? No, 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 no. Just make it like a one half. No, not that way. Bring this side to... to okay, that there, there way. Oh, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you squeeze the jam a lot. You can, but do not squeeze that, that way. I meant like... Better than donut. So I ate the whole strawberry one. Now I'm gonna try the chocolate. Fold it. It's almost too nice. Do I have chocolate on my face? Yes. We are gonna remove that on editing. <laughs> the sun is out. 
different vibe now. Not the sleepy dog. It's a bit more old fashioned than Yerevan. That doesn't mean that everybody rides a horse. <laughs> there are cars. A lot of people are saying Armenians are like Italians, which is not true because in Italy, none of those cars would have stopped for me. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the main square of Gumri Church over there. The water fountains, this cool statue display. Over here, we've got sort of a parliament type of building. It's like a, a mini Yerevan. <laughs> Books on the ceiling. You know about Omitas, right? Yeah. Omitas lived in this house as well, just imagine. So now we're going to the market of Gimri. Let's have a look. People selling uh, vegetables, fruits out the back of their car. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's literally that's literally a whole head. I told you that Sajuk is the Armenian Snickers. Finally have proof. Because <laughs> look at the box and look at what's inside. No, what's the word for the Gumri man? Gumretsi. Gumretsi is the word for a Gumri man. Gumretsi, yes, yes. Start. Made him. Okay, what is this? Oh, spicy. Uh huh. Let's show us Look, look. Take, take a cough. Okay, show it over here. Okay, look, hold your hands. Look, two. Okay, watch. We say, look, king. Two. King. Tagabot. Watch, watch, watch. Yeah, they said. I not we're about to learn a traditional Armenian dance. I am. I hope you are too. Actually, my back. Your back is hurting. Armen, welcome back. Welcome. Well, actually, no. You should be saying welcome to me. But. Yes. <laughs> the dance we're going to learn is special to this region. It's not just anywhere in Armenia. Avedik is one of the most famous dancers of Shirak region and has also received an award of being the best dancer of the region and has been dancing for, uh, for the last since he was 10 years old. Oh my god, so this is my this is my outfit for today. I've got to wear a traditional Armenian dance outfit. It's not funny. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be good at this dancing. I've not got the right uh, coordination for it. What? It's not funny. I'm not a natural dancer. So now it's time to get changed into my Armenian dance costume. There you have it. My amazing new costume. Good? You like it? You look perfect. Do you like it? Very. Do I look good? Great. Great. Why do you say great like that? Oh, I need a belt as well. This is the Armenian uh, belt. So it's time for the Gumri dance lesson. I can't believe what this guy has signed me up to today. Very excited. You're about to become local, so you need to learn this. Let's go. Oh my god, look at me in the mirror. He added an extra move there. That was, uh, I'm already confused. Is the same? On a scale of 1 to 10, Pache, how, am I, how am I doing so far? Be honest. Five. Okay. Don't say it, you're fired. If you're gonna rate me below a six, I wanna see you try the same thing. But I think Bunchy should be learning the same thing. No! This outfit is too hot to dance in. Look how slow I was going. I was like. I'm still sweating. I need a fan. Oh, that's nice. Oh! Be careful! Oh my god. Oh, I wasn't recording. Can you hit again? <laughs> This was slower, bro. It's 
lost or not? These guys are professionals. Unfortunately, with YouTube copyright reasons, we couldn't play the full song, but if you want to see the full dance, head over to my Instagram story highlights. So now it's time for a special performance from Omen. Yes? Uh, of course, but the uh, group band needs to go, so next time. Next time. Always next time with this guy. Always an excuse. So that you can have the second trip back to you. Ah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> excuses, excuses. So now we're in a restaurant in Gyumri, about to try one of the delicacies of this part of Armenia, called Kyalla. Did I say it right? Exactly, Kyalla. And what this is is a lamb's head. So that is what we're about to try. You like it, yeah? Um, kind of. Armin, I bought you to share it because everybody else here is too scared to eat it. And you're going to tell me you're not going to eat the lamb's head. They should be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so even the local Gyumri man is scared of the lamb's head. So, I think we should tell you a bit about the history and the tradition behind this dish. By the way, this is Armin, professional tour guide here in Gyumri. He's kindly volunteered to help me eat the lamb's head. Usually, it's sometimes cow's head. Yes. In most cases, it's the cow's head, but today you order the lamb's head, so it comes only in two variations, cow's uh. or lamb's head. But uh, the history dates back to a couple of centuries ago. It's also very typical of Shirak province in Kumri in particular. People, rich people, used to kill the cow and give for the remains that they did not eat. And we have different also foods that have different names, but kala. Uh, would also only be made for, uh, was only created for poor people and they would cook it at home and eat it. It's very interesting actually if we had the cow's head, it's actually, I'm sure you know, it's bigger, much bigger in size. And the interesting thing is cow's head has seven different meat and all this meat uh. is with seven different tastes. But in case of lamb, it doesn't really taste that different. And you can also try the brain of cow's head, but not in case of lamb, so. Oh, that's a shame. But you Guys, can, you can try the eye. You should try. For the video, should I try the eye? Okay, you should. You should try the eye. Come on, I can't be the only one. Oh my god, it's here. It's here. Oh my god, it's actually... Okay, it's not even that big of a head, right? It's actually quite a small head. Ah, bon appetit. That looks amazing. I don't know whether I can bear to eat this. Thank you for the rotation. No problem. <laughs> so that's the teeth. That is literally the teeth that's still on there. Oh my goodness. So wait, wait, wait. This is the thing that the rich people didn't want to eat. Exactly, but at this moment everything changed. So I know rich people want to eat Kala, but poor can't afford it. I can't believe it. <laughs> so it's come full circles. To put this in perspective, nobody wanted to eat the cow's head. You'd only eat the cow's head if you had no money to buy anything else. And now everybody comes to Gyumri to go, I want to eat the thing nobody wanted to eat. So this is what we're going to eat, guys. So it sounds fun. Here we go. Trying Kala. Okay, so let's. I don't know what how you eat this thing. Oh my god, there's the mouth. You pull open like this. Oh my god, you can see the teeth. You can see the teeth. Oh, I'm literally pulling open the skull. I can see the tongue. Oh my god. You can see. Okay. That's the tongue. Yeah, that's Wait, feel the. Oh. Touch it, it's okay. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> A tongue is not appetizing at all. I don't know what to say, guys. Oh my god, it's literally falling apart. The skull is falling apart in, in my hands. What do I do now? You're supposed to eat the cheeks and the tongue. I don't want to eat the tongue. You, you have to open, you open it. Now I open it, I have to eat the tongue. Did you eat the tongue? No, you're the guest. We're very hospitable, so we'll have... No, 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 wait, wait. I was coming here before I met you, so you, actually you're my guest. <laughs> no, you're a guest in my city, so here's the fork. Okay, I'm gonna try the cheek, okay? Cheek, I don't mind too. Much. That's the cheek, just looks normal. If I didn't know this came from the, the head, I would not know that it was the cheek of a lamb. So. Yeah, it tastes normal. 
It doesn't taste of anything. I mean, I'm not criticizing the cooking, but the, this particular meat doesn't have any, like, like there's no seasoning to it. I've tasted the cheek, it's done. No, 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 go for it, go for a tongue, go, go. I don't, I'm not doing the tongue. Go, 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 it's for do content, you, do you it's want for me to be content. Sick? I have one tongue myself, I don't need another one in my mouth. And by the way, the cheek tasted bland, I'm gonna be honest, it didn't, I wasn't impressed, I wasn't like, oh wow, that was amazing. Bro, if you don't taste the tongue, I mean, people Listen. are not gonna watch the video. They're already watching the video if they heard you say that. I, 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 honestly, I don't think I can bring myself to taste a tongue. Is that the tongue there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would anyone eat a tongue? We have this tradition, people say you need to eat the part that you need the most. That's why there are some people who are just eating the brain because that's, the, <laughs> that's what they need the most. I've never had a problem with my taste buds. I've got an entire lamb's head on the table. We have how many people at the table? One, two, three, four, five, six people. Why am I the only one <laughs> um, sure. who's got the b to try and eat it? Come on. Well, everybody else has failed at this. I don't know how dirty a, a, a lamb's teeth can get. Did they clean the teeth? Did they clean the teeth with Colgate before cooking this? Because I'm sorry. To me, look at these teeth. They need to see a dentist. <laughs> look at the tongue. What's that on the tongue? Okay, let's cut the front off the tongue. Let's see. It smells disgusting. Inside it looks like tuna or something, like the texture. What I will do is I will take out a little bit of tongue from the inside and I will try a small amount of tongue. Just to say that I did it and just to say I had the courage to do it. It has precisely zero taste. It's not bad either way, but I didn't want to eat the outside of the tongue. I don't think I can eat any more of this, to be honest with you. I tried a bit of cheek, I tried a tiny bit of tongue, I tried a bit of the back head muscle. I can't touch the brain, I can't touch the eyes. We're gonna offer it to the people at the table one last time. Do you want some? <laughs> Do you want some? No. That's it, I can say I've tried it. I can say it wasn't the best. I can say that I won't have it again. But I've done it, so thank you very much. So we're about to say goodbye to Gimri. It's been an amazing trip. We're on our way back to Yerevan, so. See you on the next video. <laughs>